Run. Run. Well, hello, friends. Wolfgore here, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. We are going to be starting a new series today, as our last series sadly came to an end a little bit prematurely. That was our Mad Lad series. Hark! I hear an angry lumberjack. Sup, big boy? Oh, God! Oh, that's a cat! No! 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 Oh! And, uh, yeah, we, uh, we went ahead and died on day 14. Kind of a bummer, but that does mean we get to start something new together. So, rather than jumping into another long-form series like the last one, I wanted to do something a little bit just sort of short, crazy, and chaotic. Uh, so, we are going to be playing on a random gen map, the seed of which is Chaos, capital C, H A O S. So we are on adventurer difficulty. So the zombies are going to be easier than what we're generally used to at this point. Uh, quite a bit squishier than insane difficulty, but they are still on nightmare speed all of the time. So these settings right here are really going to be what makes this playthrough unique. We are going to have our days in game last only 10 minutes real time, as opposed to 60 minutes, which is the default. And we are going to be having hordes every single night. So for every 10 minutes we spend in game, five minutes will be daytime and five minutes we will be getting attacked by a horde and this will repeat every 10 minutes. The XP multiplier is turned up to 300%. This is going to boost our game stage really quickly and make the hordes get big very fast. And under the advanced tab we have player block damage. I turned this up to 300%. Loot abundance is also turned up to 200%, which is the max, so we should be getting twice as much goodies. For loot respawn, I wanted to disable this because I want the end of this series to sort of come with, hey, we've looted everything in this town, we're out of stuff, now we're just going to hold on for as long as we can, and that will be our eventual end. The Blood Moon count is, of course, 64 times enemies, which is max. That means 64 zombies can be loaded in at any given time on a Horde Knight. Airdrops are disabled, and Cheat Mode is on in case we have to fix anything using the debug menu. All of that having been said, let's jump in and see how this goes. All right, we are starting out in the center of this town here. There's our trader. All I did was I took care of the tutorial stuff. Uh, I got as little XP as I could possibly get and flew over here in god mode. I haven't talked to the trader yet and set up this crafting station in the center of town. Uh, I won't be using this as a horde base. This is just so that we don't have to spec into the intellect tree. I have no intention of specking into intellect and we're not going to be using vehicles in this series. So no intellect stuff. We're just going to be on foot doing the best that we can. Um, as far as what we've got so far, we just have a basic amount of stone, wood, and fiber, roughly a normal amount you would have after completing the tutorial. And of course we have our wooden club, our stone ax, our wooden bow. Let's kill this chicken and start getting some meat and some feathers. We're gonna need feathers. We only have 20 arrows. Oh, hi. And there's our first zombie friend. The other stuff that we have is just the stuff that you start with. We got some frame blocks. Uh, I'm heading over to the west. This seems to be the residential area. All of this stuff seems to be more commercial type structures. And this is all of our housing. And one of the first things I want to do is find a cooking pot. And it looks like we've got a Bob's Boars right here, which is great. We can pop in there and get a whole bunch of meat if that's what we want to do. And I'm starting to think maybe I should spawn in a helmet light mod for myself since we're going to have so much nighttime. There we go. A level one padded hood. That is not going to make much, if any, difference in terms of how much damage we take. So let's pop that on. And now we can see in the dark. That's better. Uh, should we pop into this Bob's Boars or should we go do a regular house first? I think we're going to do a regular house first and save that. We need to at least get a bone knife or some kind of knife before we start chopping up those boars. Hi. This place seems as good as any. Oh, hey, this is the same POI that we, uh, this, this was our house, our, uh, <laughs> our workshop in, uh, the series that just ended. Ooh, six lock picks. That's pretty good. Um, so I, I am familiar with this place to some extent. Sounds like we've got an angry friend outside, but let's start looting. See if we can find another six lock picks. That's nice. There's a backpack up here. A level two wooden club. And do we have a vulture? We do have a vulture over there. Let's see if we can take him out before he becomes a problem. Oh, sneaky boy. 
All right, he dead. I don't actually... I would really like to not level up. <laughs> That's like my one strategy that I've thought up, is don't level up before the first horde, and then you can take it easy for at least 10 minutes. Uh, but let's make a decision about where we want to put these skill points. Rule 1 cardio is always good. That's just going to help us run more. Healing factor is going to keep us healed up. Just a little bit of health over time. Sexual Tyrannosaurus because it's meta. And do we want to go with a different type? I think I'm just going to stick with Pummel Pete for this series as it's what I'm familiar with. I like a de clubs. They work for me. Let's put on these level 2 cloth boots if I can figure out how. And get inside this place. We don't have a wrench yet, so that kind of limits what we're able to take apart in here, but that's fine. For oh, I forgot we have a 200% loot on, so we're going to be finding things in much larger numbers than I'm used to. 45 gunpowder there, that's pretty sweet, and a blunderbuss, that is fantastic. Let's go ahead and load that bad boy up. And we got a friend in here, let's deal with her. More XP, we're getting closer and closer to leveling. <laughs> 12 oil, oh my gosh, this is wild. What a, what a different way to play the game. With our stone axe, we're actually going to be able to break through this metal plate pretty quickly because we're at 300% block damage. And get some food, hopefully water. You know what? I'll take it. Hi, bud. Yeah, it looks like we're just going to have to accept that we're going to level up and deal with a horde very soon. Oh, lucky looter goggles. Very cool. Very early. Very nice. Six duct tape. That's helpful. You can scrap this chair for the leather. And a needle and thread book. Uh, tank tops. Eh. Not a big deal. Oh, we got two of them? Well, we can sell one. Man, it's going to be hard to find time to get over to the trader. With only five minutes of daylight at any given time. We're finding all of these books and duplicates. How odd. Where do I go from here? Downstairs? Let's clear out our inventory. We're starting to get a little clogged up already. Which is just fine. Whoa! Alright, looks like we're taking about 8 damage a hit. Which is not too bad. Get up. Alright, there's our first skill point. Uh, let's try and decide where we're going to put that very quickly. Actually, let's deal with the immediate threats and then decide where we're going to put that. Hi, bud. Yeah. Ooh. Oh god, that's a lot of friends. Shit. With that. Oh god. Uh, let's go ahead and use this bandage. Stop that bleeding. We're totally fine. Totally fine. I know that may have looked bad, but we're still gonna have to use the frame block trick. Even if we are quite a bit stronger than we're used to being. Alright, she is dead. Good, good, good. Uh, we got some bones there. Let's go ahead and craft a bone knife. And there's our cooking pot. That's perfect. Got some yucca juice. Let's pop this crate open. Uh, you know what? I know where I want that skill point. Let's put that in Lucky Looter. Not only is that going to help us get better stuff. That's a bunch of parts. Probably sell those. Not only is that going to help us get better stuff, but it's going to help us loot more quickly. Which is going to be, uh, I'm thinking, pretty important in this in this series. Let's uh, pop a frame down here and upgrade that, because it's looking like we're going to have to hold down the horde in here. Let's see what we got in the bag. Oh, a level 3 bone knife. We can bring that down to the bar and scrap that level 1. Get some coffee, more stuff, more cooking pots. Anything in here? Ooh, two honey. That's a good find. We are almost certainly going to get infected at some point. Here's our main loot. Hopefully we get some blunderbuss ammo. Fantastic. And, oh, the steel sledge schematic. That's pretty cool. A bunch more blunderbuss ammo and another blunderbuss. I think we're actually just going to scrap this bow. And we're going to bring two blunderbuss down to our bar for the time being. And try and keep them both loaded. Same concept as a double-barreled shotgun, but... You know, we don't have one of those yet. Let's put on those level 3 boots. Try and keep our inventory cleared out as best we can. And we got some painkillers there. That's good. Let's eat this food. Just trying to make room. Uh, let's go ahead and repair our weapon. And see if we can find where they're trying to break in and go deal with them. Before they get too far. 
Hi, guys. Let's uh, knock that out. Oops. And, oh, oh my god, switch to the axe. I'm trying to reinforce this, not break it. Let's go ahead and reinforce that. And reinforce this. We should be able to deal with them pretty safely and easily. Get away from the door. They're making it really hard to hit, so why don't we drop a block right here. Let's reinforce that, and then knock this door out of the way. And we should be able to get at their heads. There we go, much better. Oh god. There's a dog out there. Let's see if we can find it. I hear you, but where are you? Oh god, that's a wolf. Let's uh, see if we can take care of him. That's not so bad, we can get some meat from that. We are going to be needing to worry about food very soon. Alright, what do we want to do from here? This place is looted, let's put an X on it just to help keep track of what we've looted and what we haven't. Let's get out here, and it would be nice to stop by the trader, sell some stuff and see if she's got anything in her inventory that we can find helpful in our adventures. Let's uh, keep looting, and I'm guessing she won't open until 10 o'clock because of the settings we have on. So why don't we loot, try and loot this place in front of us, and we'll stop by there once she opens up. Oh, it's only 6 o'clock and they just opened up. Let's head over there after we grab some of this stone here. Hi, Jen! You don't look so good. That's not very you nice. want to get some antibiotics for that. Uh, we might as well grab this buried supplies. Oh, I very much doubt that we'll be doing it, but do let's just job. get into her inventory and start getting as much money as we can as fast as possible. When the hell did we get 18 steel? I didn't even see that happen, but that's good. All right, we got a little coin to spend. Let's see if she has anything we can buy. Double barrel shotgun, that seems like an easy purchase. And a cigar, that seems like an easy purchase. Now she's got some cobble we could buy to try and get some sort of structure reinforced. And a level 2 AK. And bear in mind, all of this stuff is going to disappear very, very quickly. She is going to reset in about 20 minutes. So Thank I think so that's going to do it for now. Let's get out of here. Uh, find a place to maybe head back to the center of town and drop off all of our loot, and then get back to looting. Nice, we got some shotgun shells there. Might as well bring the old double barrel down to the old bar. Oh god, that came preloaded. <laughs> nice. The deer over there, but all of my ranged weapons are super close range. Maybe... God, is this even worth the time? I'm not sure. You know what? I don't have a bow on me. Yeah, we can't hunt deer very effectively right now. Maybe if I wasn't so encumbered, but as it is, I am. Oh, God. That's a big boy. Hi, bud. Sure wish I wasn't so encumbered right now. But you're quite slow. So I think we're going to be okay. Hi. Could you all lay down, please? Dude, I just, I would, I just want to loot the car. Leave me alone. Why are there so many of you? Ow! Bullshit, and you know it, Kenny. Oh, cool. Glass jars and lead trophy. Just what I wanted. Huh, what is this thing? Could we use this as a short-term horde base? I think we could. That's, a. Uh, it's non-reinforceable cobblestone, but it does have 1,200 hit points. And I'm thinking... We're just gonna have to have a bunch of horde bases, like, all around that we can dip into when need be, and ideally have escape hatches where we can get out when need be. They're gonna fall, because we just don't have the time to reinforce anything substantially. All right, let's just repair our ax, try and get some of this crap out of the way. Let's get an iron hatch in this place. Nice, okay, feeling pretty safe in here. Let's break into this wall safe. And after that, we'll try and put some sort of hole in the ceiling and put a ladder up there so we can escape if need be. Okay, I threw a point into Miner 69er because I want to get a pickaxe crafted, ideally sometime soon. And let's just throw another point into Pain Tolerance just to make us a little bit tankier. And what the hell, guys? Could you come around? Okay. Well, Thick had the right idea. What's your problem? Well, I guess we can just... Kill him with the blunderbuss, that's not so bad. Maybe if we drop the hatch down, they'll get the idea to come over here. 
Hi, businessman. Let's try that one more time. Nope. They like it over there. So we're just going to have to deal with it. Alright. They're dead. Anybody else? That might be it. Let's finish breaking in here. God, that took so long. Let's hope it was worth it. It was absolutely not worth it at all. Uh, that's fine. I do think putting an escape hatch in is a good idea, though. This shouldn't take too long here. All right, let's craft out, what, like two ladders? Oh, bummer. This is half blocks. I'm wondering how that's going to work out. Let's pop a ladder there and there. And... Let's see. Yeah, we can get up on the roof like this. All right, cool. We have our first little horde base set up, and this takes cobble to repair. So, I wish I would have bought that cobble from Jen, but we can make our own cobble. If we dig up some clay and uh, combine that with small rocks, or we can just keep looting and looking for cobble. Uh, I'm going to make some storage crates. Looks like we have enough nails to make two of those. And this is going to be my main forge. Let's throw a little wood in there and some iron. Do I have any clay? No, I don't. Let's craft a shovel real quick and mine some clay. Oh, that's not bad at all. You gotta love that block damage. And let's craft a level 2 axe. Replace this level 1 that's busted. Alright, we got some clay. Let's come back to our forge. Throw a little bit of that in there. And I want to craft some nails so we can make a couple more storage crates. There we go. Oop. 19 more coming up. I think four storage crates should be more than enough. So we just need about five more nails. There we go. Two more storage crates coming up. And I'm going to put a point into Pack Mule. As this is going to be a very quick series, I am not sure I'm going to have time to get a pocket mod set up very easily. Uh, let's make this one food, water. All right, we got one for parts and mods, gun, ammo, and explosives, crafting materials, food, water, and meds. All right, let's get organized. I'm also going to put one more down for stuff to sell to the trader. All right, I'd say we are pretty well organized. We got our ammo with us, basic materials, lockpicks, tools, and weapons. And uh, we just got to keep moving because, man, this goes quickly. Let's see if we can hunt a deer here with a shotgun. <laughs> that's, that's one way to hunt. You know what, it's already getting late. Let's just grab some stone and get some cobblestone crafting before the horde gets here. Once we deal with the horde, now that we're all organized, we'll go out and loot another POI. All right, we got about 250 pieces of cobblestone coming up. That should be enough to keep our walls repaired in the horde base for a while. And we got some meat today, which is great. It's going in the wrong box. Uh, let's throw that back in there. I have to think differently about what I want on us at any given time. I don't expect to be using these feathers, but let's just throw them in there. And once we get another level, we'll put a point into Master Chef, and we can start cooking up this food. Uh, because we are starting to get hungry, and we are out. And there's another freaking deer over there. What is the deal with all the deer? Oh, God. Oh, God, they're here. It's already 2,200. We gotta get inside. Okay. Uh, let's get these blocks repaired. Hi. Oh, man, I'm used to being on such a higher level character. Having no stamina is awful. Oh, God. They're uh, getting on top of each other. We do not want them coming in behind us. Gotta remember to keep these blunderbusses loaded. Let's burn up the stamina. Alright, there's a level. And I want to say that's the end of the horde. Let's go ahead and put that into Master Chef. Let's see about getting some of that food cooked. Because we are already starting to get a little bit hungry. We're going to need to keep iron on us so we can repair that hatch. But let's grab our iron. And we do need to get a cooking grill crafted so we can make grilled meat. So let's go cooking grill, craft out one of those bad boys. All right, let's throw a little wood in the fire. We can get one bacon and eggs cooked up and 13 grilled meat. That is excellent. All right, let's just munch down that bacon and eggs right now and get on the road. 
Uh, I busted an iron node earlier, and I'm really wishing I would have marked that on the map. Iron is definitely going to be something we're going to need on a regular basis, and uh, hopefully we can find another iron node close by. We've got coal here. We should mark this. Coal, there we go. Another damn deer. I mean, we might as well. I don't know why there's so many deer, assuming I can catch the thing. But let's take the meat while we can get it, because... I doubt it's always going to be this easy. Hi, Lois. Could you not... Chop down some trees. We might as well replant these, because I want wood close at hand for when we need it. <laughs> wood close at hand. Yeah, you get it. Uh, I see a Shamway Foods building right here. It's just right here, so let's just do it. I don't think this is a dungeon-style POI, unfortunately, so there's not going to be any main loot at the end. Uh, but, you know what? You can still find some good stuff. Anybody home? Come on, then. Where are you boys at? I hear, but I do not see. Well, we'll just have to keep moving until they decide to show up. We can get some easy cobblestone in here. And we got some cement up here. Is this thing going to collapse? Yep. Yes, it is. But that is okay. We're fine. Not even sure if we should be harvesting cement yet, but... You know what? I'm just going to do it. Hi, bud. Slow down. Don't run in the workplace. I'm not sure how to get up farther. But I see a purse over here, so let's take that. Nice. Some stuff we can sell. Some 44 mag ammo. Let's close this door behind us and see if this staircase will take us up higher. Uh, staircases tend to do that. Got some garbage over here. More stuff to sell. Some painkillers. That's really good. That's the elevator where that purse was. Let's see if we can get up another level. Ooh, maybe some good water in here. Whoa! Four good water. That's awesome. That'll keep us hydrated for quite a while. There's a staircase over there. Definitely got vultures, but they're probably up on the roof, so let's keep looting. No wrench yet, unfortunate. Hi, bud. Nice. Uh, I knocked him into oblivion. I wanted to take... Oh, there he is. Give me your bones, dude. It looks like we can head up another level over here. And we are up on the roof. And we've got a Shamway Foods crate... A pile of food. Ah, fucking cornmeal. Get out of here. Two cans of peas. That's good. Some raw meat. And can I eat this raw corn? Yeah, might as well. So, not a ton of good stuff here. But we did find some painkillers. So I will take that. Let's just throw an X on it. So we know not to come back here. And it's going to be hoard soon. So let's get back downstairs. Back. Oh, God. Oh, I thought I was going to break my leg there. Getting too hasty. Alright, back home. Let us get organized. Try and get ready for the horde. Uh, oh my god, it's here already. I look at the time and I'm like, oh yeah, I've got like five minutes before the horde gets here. Psych. One hour does not last very long. Right, let's get inside. We should be able to repair this with the iron that we have. And there they are. I really wish you guys would come around to the hatch. Well, thank you. They listened. Try and focus down Mo here. So I am thinking about doing this series in like 50 minute episodes. So we'll play for five days. And uh, then I'll take that footage and edit it down. Uh, but because it's such a weird series... After tomorrow night, I'm going to stop and edit the first episode and make sure it's not total dog shit <laughs> before I record a bunch of episodes. And I think that was it for the Horde. Let's pop outside. Uh, we're not over encumbered or anything, so why don't we just go straight to looting another place. And let's check these blocks. They are taking damage. Let's repair those. I kind of like this little setup. It's so basic, but just... Having those bars there that you can shoot out and the hatch behind us, it feels pretty good. I think this place is called Doggos. I'm aware of this POI, but I don't 
think I've ever looted it before. And I'm guessing we're going to have dogs in here, so let's make sure our guns are loaded. And let's go ahead and repair our weapons and our tools real quick and get to it. Uh, level 2 padded chest armor. It's better than nothing. Let's take that. Oh, we got a friend already. Sit down, sir. Looks like he is guarding a kitchen, which is good. We still need to find a wrench. And the best place to find wrenches, in my experience, is in kitchens. Oh, God. So sneaky. Don't do that. And it occurs to me, as I'm looting here, <laughs> that Jen has already reset and is on her second round of loot now, soon to reset again. So we really do need to go check in with the trader and uh, see what she's got that we can buy and stuff that we can sell. But I don't think there's any way that you can keep up with it. You can't be heading over there every 20 minutes. It's just not feasible. Uh, the heist, sure, let's just read one of those. Let's see what's under this plug down here. Purse. And shotgun shells. That's excellent. And that's a lot of dog kennels, so let's, uh... Just try and be ready. Oh my god. The double whiff. That door is fucking locked. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you can't close the door. It's, it's locked. It's locked open. That makes so much sense. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> God damn. I mean, that was more my own fault than the game's fault for missing, but uh, a little silly that you can't close that door. Alright, we got some bones, we got some leather, doesn't look like there's anything else down here, so let's try and... Oh, we can scrap that chair for a little bit more leather. Let's try and get upstairs, see what else we can find. We've got five duct tape there, that's a good find. Let's go ahead and munch down some food. We're starting to get hungry. Am I supposed to go out this window? Kinda looks like it. Okay, so what's out here? Where the fuck did you come from? Damn it, Lois. Alright, there's a door over here. Let's see what's behind this door. Oh god. I hear more dogs. Let's go ahead and pop a frame down here. No frame. Frames are not dog proof, so let's try and deal with him quickly. Let's get that reloaded before I forget. And it looks like we got a bunch of cobble in here. That's fantastic. Let's get this all dug up. Ooh, we got some vitamins in case we get fatigued. That's very good to have those on hand. There is just noise coming from every direction. Let's just try and close the doors behind us so we don't get flanked. Check these cabinets real quick. More junk. More nothing. Oh, I was just about to say, where the hell am I supposed to go? But there's a ladder right here. Taking us up to the roof and there's a lot of noise from nearby. Oh god. Well, that's a wolf. Let's see if we can... Oh, that's a dire wolf. Oh, shit. <laughs> Buzzard? He's dead? Alright, I would love to skin that dire wolf for the meat. So let's try and remember to do that, but first things first, let us reload. And I see a crack book sign over there in the distance. Crack books are normally... Very high priority POIs, so they can have lots of very valuable recipes. So we'll try and get over there. Probably next thing. And weapons bag. And just a bunch of junk. Our game stage is still so low that we're just not going to find anything amazing. Come on, pickaxe. Come on, give me a pickaxe. Uh, level 3 stone axe, it's better than nothing. Scrap that, and three pipe bombs, that's cool. And a mod that we can throw into probably our club. That's going to heal us over time a little bit faster if we have that in our hand. And we've got company. Let's, let's deal with this chap. And it is almost horde time. Oh my god. Uh, we're just going to have to fight him here. Right? I mean, oh my god. Oh my god. They're everywhere. Let's get up here. Try and get some stamina regen going on. Good, they're gonna chill right there. Let's just take them out with the bus. And if they got up here, that means the horde will too. So let's try and find a choke point where we can fight the horde. Probably right here, I would imagine. 
I hear them. They're getting close. Let's put blocks right there and there. Hopefully they can't get past this. I saw somebody come in here. Where? Oh, God. He's going for the window. Clever girl. All right. Let's try and get to a point where we can hit them. Good God. This is so intense. <laughs> I need to get home and cure this infection. But, uh, things just keep moving at a pretty quick pace. But I did this to myself, so I really can't complain. Uh, that's our fourth skill point. So I'm thinking trying to be a little bit more combat effective would be good right now. So let's go into strength. Let's just throw two points in there. Let's put a uh, point into Sexual Tyrannosaurus. Our next point will go into Pummel Pete. If we can get to a point where we're one-shotting basic zombies, that would be really nice. -y. And it is the morning of day six, so let's get back to the house. If I can remember how to get out of this place. Let's go drop our stuff off, and I think we'll call it an episode there. And uh, I'm going to go edit this up and see how it turned out. But this is actually pretty fun. I am enjoying myself. It is chaos as I expected and as the hordes get larger I'm not even sure how that's going to look but I know it's going to be chaotic and as that's what we're going for you know mission accomplished right I think we're gonna call it a day here I want to thank you guys so much for watching if this does end up seeing the light of day or YouTube that is I love your faces and I will see you here next time bye